Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel in case you're new here. Hi, my name is Wabosha and welcome to the Slay Squad. So if you see this background <laughs> and my hair looking raggedy, then we are doing hair. So as usual, I... Okay, no, let me back up a bit. This is how my hair is looking like currently. What I did yesterday is my wash day routine, which I already have on my channel and I will link down below in the description but in case you're interested. The only thing that I did different is I put my hair into these twists right here just so that my hair can get a bit of stretch and it can be a bit easier as I braid. Um, the other thing that I did just right now, I did my edges and the reason that I usually do my edges before I braid and I actually usually do this even before I go to the salon, it's so that I can prevent them from getting grabbed like they're already struggling <laughs> so I just want them to be left out of the braiding and I've said this before but I still get asked questions this is the gel that i use on my edges it's a nice and lovely styling gel and what i use um, to lay my edges is this brush right here this is a spoolie what you normally use to comb out uh, your eyebrows you can get this from any beauty supply store near you and if you are in kenya or nairobi you can get one from the boys at a really really good price so on to the hair that we'll be using today literally the hair i ordered it um Today morning, it's just arrived, ordered it through Globo, and the hair we'll be using is this one right here. This is the sister braid in the number one. Uh, yeah, it's just ten sister crochet braid. This is how it looks like in case you want to take a screenshot or something. The braid cost okay so when the hair got here i actually like sprayed alcohol and everything on the packets and cleaned it and sanitized it that's why my <laughs> receipts are looking like this but a pack of this hair goes for 475 kenyan shillings and i got two packets so when you open the packets this is how the hair looks like you have bundle here a bundle with two a bundle with two a bundle with two there's also one here that i removed so that i can show you guys um when you remove these two bundles like this this is how they look like so this one is still tied up and this one i have removed it to show you guys so when i was looking at the hair i was like hmm will this be enough <laughs> for my entire head because like one bundle looks like you know there's not much hair in there so i called a friend of mine she's called kiki she has a channel where she does hair things it's called kuzamizizi i will link it down below in the description bar so there's a time she braided my hair and this is the braid that she used so i just called her up to ask what i should do exactly because the two packets are looking quite few then she told me to cut this so like this one i will cut it in the middle here so then i will have this bunch and this other bunch actually let me just do that now okay so i have this side and this side and from this side i should get about three braids and this other side about three to two she said three to two braids so in total you can have a maximum of six braids from this one bundle here um again i don't really know how to braid that well but i have a feeling that <laughs> by the end of quarantine you know we'll be getting better at this thing so the technique that i'm going to be using is a rubber band method where i will take a piece of my hair rubber band it at the bottom crochet this hair through on the top and then braid all the way to the bottom i will demonstrate this in case that was a bit difficult to understand so i also of course got rubber bands these are the ones that i got um i got two packs but as you can see there's like 300 in here so one packet will definitely be enough but like i said this looks like it's going to be a regular thing so i'll use the other packet the other time uh one pack of the rubber bands was 55 kenyan shillings so 110 for both of them and i got my supplies from true cosmetics true cosmetics used to be super cosmetics the one in westlands yeah i feel like that is all of the details that i have to tell you guys uh huh, yeah 
so let me start off with the back of my head then it's at the front where you guys can see a bit more clearly i will come back and explain exactly what i am doing okay so i'm back and well <laughs> uh one thing's for sure this is was really not the easiest uh, hair to start with as a beginner in braiding uh there was a learning curve a very strenuous <laughs> learning curve because this back part has taken me ages but you know that's what i am here for i am here to learn on behalf of you guys and share with you guys what i have learned so that it can be way easier for you guys to do this process i'm gonna tell you guys the time right now so right now it is 4 42 p.m so then you can be able to get how long it take me to do the rest of the hair um i do want to say that once you have a rhythm then it's really really fast i'm sure you guys how the back looks like currently here we go so like i have mentioned i have learned a couple of things which i will tell you guys as we go along and the first thing that i have learned is i need to make my sections a bit smaller i don't mind the way they are at the back because um i don't think will be that visible or hopefully <laughs> they will not be that visible once the hair is done um i did think at some point that the hair won't be enough but i think it will be enough uh this thing is the hair ties that come in the in the path are really nice for like holding off what you're done uh so the first thing that i've learned or oh, another thing that i've learned since the first one was to make small sections is that you go way faster if you work in like parts so like if you're dividing and putting the rubber bands do that first on your entire head and then go into separating your hair and then next go into crocheting and braiding everything in so with that being said we're going to um rubber band this quarter part of my hair and then we we'll move on to the next step after that <laughs> was not completely obvious what i'm doing the first step of course is to create your part i'm not beating myself up too much <laughs> about how clean the parts are but of course you want to try and make them as clean as possible because it does affect uh like how neat your braiding style comes out in the end then you want to make a section like i said okay these ones are really small and that's because this part was just naturally smaller but you want to make sure your parts are not too big anyway so i'm going to take about this amount of hair right here then i take a rubber band i know some people are usually worried about this rubber bands getting um snugged on their hair but these ones come off really easily i didn't know when i was buying them but you'll find that when you use them this is the brand just in case anyone is curious when you use them they snap really easily so i guess even removing them i shouldn't have any issues uh with them getting snugged on the hair then what i'm going to do is just wrap the rubber bound uh, the rubber band around the hair uh, you want to make this comfortably tight like don't make it too tight so that at night you can't sleep but at the same time if you loosen it because at some places at the back i didn't make it tight enough and when i was crushing the hair through it was coming out so that's how i'm going to do it so you just basically repeat this on your entire head okay so it is currently 6 22 <laughs> this will definitely take me all night to do i have finished partitioning and rubber banding the entire front half section and i've even started braiding so as you can see um if you put your sections nicely then the braids look a lot better um like this one i'm not happy with this one because it's not tight enough but then again i'm so scared of making it too tight this one worked perfectly uh i might have to redo this one but before then let me show you guys the technique so this is one bundle the similar bundle that i had shown you guys in the beginning so first off i'm going to just take this out 
um, the center already has this uh, rubber band over here so I'm going to remove that first and then split that in the middle like that that I can have oops it's not completely split yes I can have this side and this other side so then this one I'm just going to split this into three sections trying to make them as equal as possible so like that and the other one three sections as well there there i think once you've done this um a few times you stop like doubting where you're splitting a lot and you just go for it so then i'm going to take one section like that my crochet needle and then I'm going to insert this um, inside here. Wait, you see this is what is happening to these rubber bands that I was telling you guys in the beginning. They're coming off like they're breaking like that. Which kind of really sucks because <laughs> I spend a lot of time putting them in. So now having to go back in and redo some of them is... A bit annoying okay so there um, my crochet needle put this inside like that take the hair and I form like a thing <laughs> like that so that the needle can fit properly in there place it in close my latch hook and then i just pull it out and this part is the part where i've been having a lot of trouble with like pulling it to the other side sometimes it goes through <laughs> sometimes it doesn't and i have to redo it but yeah i'm just patient with it Okay, so there we go we have our two strands so the reason the rubber band method helps uh is again to grip uh the bottom especially if you don't know how to braid but if you know how to braid and you know how to grip to the bottom you don't really need to do the whole rubber band thing and the other thing is that if your hair is not natural this might not work because the hair is naturally curly and so if your hair is pumped then it won't blend nicely inside the hair so an alternative if your hair is pumped is to do this twist separately and then you crochet them onto your hair so another thing that i have learned i'm sorry by the way it is pouring outside so if you can hear that it is the rain uh -huh. so we have our strand here then i divide my own hair into two hold it in each side and then here's the thing so instinctively when i personally braid i'm not sure if it's for everyone i want to go to the right side like that but with this hair because of the curl pattern and how it's manufactured i guess you have to go to the left side so instead of braiding like this other way go this other way and i'm sure it's hard to understand but once you have your hands on the braiding hair then you will completely get it at the back a lot of them i was braiding normally and then i realized that the curls are not like properly getting into each other so if you look at some of my twists at the back they look a bit abnormal <laughs> and that's the reason why so i discovered a bit too late so then what i'm saying is instead of braiding like this i'm going to go towards the opposite side so it feels a bit funny when you first do it but when you get the hang of it it just it works And also another thing that I learned is that uh, you know how when you're doing the normal rope braids you normally like twist the hair and then twist again so like you twist and then you put you twist and then you put with this kind of hair you don't really have to because it's almost like you're putting this curl back to its position so even just placing it um, works although you can twist it as well it doesn't really make a difference so 
so i'm just going to braid this until the end also one more thing don't let it go <laughs> like once you start braiding just finish it till the end because i've noticed that if you let go then everything gets tangled and it's a mess <laughs> like i mentioned i noticed that it's like the worst hair to start learning how to braid with because it's really complicated i'm sure if it was like the usual abuja braids this would be a much simpler process to do so now i'm braiding all the way to the bottom and then hold on it has a bit more left to go see what i'm saying like once you let go it tangles at the bottom okay so i want to show this process again one more time in case um someone missed something i also want to share the movie i'm watching it's called brian banks really really nice <laughs> a lot of the time when i was um sectioning the hair i was spending looking for some looking i was spending looking for something to watch so if you're looking for something as well brand bags work so again piece of hair put the crochet needle inside hook it close the latch hook and take it through and then pull the rest of the hair out like that so then what you want to do is take your section of hair what i do first is like press down to secure the rubber band split this hair into two put one on each side and then remember what i said instinctively you want to go this way when you're braiding but go this other way the twist will come out way cleaner Also, if it's pulling a bit on the tip, you can use one of these clips to hold this like that. And then you keep braiding the rest of the way. So then when I get to the end part, I just twirl it around my finger like that then i let go so let this go and it untightens a bit at the base so it won't be as tight as it was and then i just cut the excess so don't do this anywhere with a carpet trust me there is so much around here and i have a dustbin so this is how the braids look like i think it look really really cute um i'm not sure how long i will get <laughs> With the spreads because some of them look like they're really snug in there like that and some of them like this are not that tight but the good thing with this is that unlike the crochet then i can very easily be able to do like a repair so after like two weeks i can go in with the remaining hair or even with a new pack and only do like the front so that it looks a bit neater which uh, let me keep on going if i find something that i need to update you guys on i will be back to share it with you guys okay so i'm back um as you can see these rubber bands they just they're cutting like a lot of them are snapping out before i even get the chance to crochet the hair in so i've come up with a different method that might be a lot easier to do this so you take the braiding hair you divide this into two first like the section into two put the braiding hair in the middle close these two together and then that's when you put the rubber band this way i'm noticing it's even um more secured to the scalp and chances of it coming out is reduced by a lot So I'm just doing this for all the ones that the rubber bands are already coming out. I'm not like undoing the rubber band work that I've done already. But if you're going to do this, I definitely recommend 
this method instead of the crochet one so you see the hair is over there in between being held by the rubber band then I just do the same thing split the hair into two and then I start twisting towards the left side from there everything is basically the same but even as you're braiding with this style you can definitely feel the grip to the bottom is way way better compared to the rest so i recommend you do get that clip to hold so that it doesn't pull on your scalp too much Actually, uh, if you're being very honest, <laughs> I almost forgot that I was filming and forgot to do the outro. But my hair is done. I finished at 9 p.m. I can't exactly remember my starting time. I've held my hair up. This is how it looks like. I hope you can, you can see. I like how it looks like my natural hair. So it looks like if I had really long natural hair. And I just did some chunky twists. That's how that's how it came out. <sighs> I'm really happy about it. I do have quite a bit of hair left because um, of the big partings that I did at the back. So if you're doing this for yourself, please do <laughs> smaller partings at the back of your head as well. It will come out more fuller like you can see how my bun is tiny so if you do smaller parts at the back as well then your bun will become much fuller and also you won't have so much hair left but i'm not really mad about the amount of hair that i have left because after like two weeks when they start getting undone then i can just undo like the first two rows and then fix them up and go for another couple of weeks so i have this left and a small piece over here uh, yeah that's it for the video if you have any questions leave them down below in the comment section and I will answer them to the best of my ability thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and if you're new to this channel please subscribe down below for new videos every Mondays and Thursdays always remember to work hard and have good intentions until next time Bye guys. Tick it, 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 tick it